and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about this right here, the bike lane. So let's ride along here and talk a little bit about the bike lane. The bike lane situation. And you can't really tell very well. It can never look, this, it doesn't look the same on the camera as it does to me here with all the crap in the uh, bike lane, but trust me, there is there lots of stuff. But anyway, so today though, I thought I'd talk about the bike lane and a few things about it. One of them is if we have bike lanes, which we do here on some roads, not all roads, we're lucky because let's face it, a lot of folks don't even have bike lanes. So there is that. And I'm gonna quickly get off this bike lane because I don't want to get a flat tire or anything right now. But uh, so we're lucky, first of all, if you're in an area that even has bike lanes. And I'm wondering if we had more bike lanes and you had them where you are, if you don't already, would that have you more likely to ride your e-bike on roads that you can't otherwise ride right now because you don't trust riding with the traffic or beside the traffic with no bike lane? I don't know. But for me, personally, it doesn't matter. Like, I prefer the bike lane, but I really despise all the uh, debris that goes into the bike lane. So that, that's a big negative, especially when it's not summertime. Summertime's probably the best time to ride in the bike lane because there's less chance of debris or as much debris. There's always going to be debris, but less of it. Um, compared to winter or fall or spring so that's one thing I wanted to bring up and the other thing is there's a few things but another thing would be does that affect you though in your riding having the bike lane and what about the bike lane though are they wide enough because sometimes and I've had folks mention to me on the video that, oh, your, your bike lane looks like it's about three feet wide. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes they are, depending on where you're at, if you have a bike lane even, but even, even still, there's times when the bike lane is about one foot wide. And it's not really, I don't think it's really even supposed to be a bike lane. I think it's just the shoulder of the road, a very narrow uh, shoulder of the road. So there's a long way to go uh, to get bike friendly, if you want to say uh, bike friendly on the roads, um, to make it so that people feel comfortable riding on the road and feel safe. I think they kind of go hand in hand. If you feel safe, I'm sure you feel more comfortable. But uh, uh, we'll take a trip back now in time to when I was younger, which was a long time ago. But uh, let's say back in the 70s and 80s, when I was riding my bike as a kid and then as a teenager. You know, I don't remember having bike lanes. Maybe we did, and I just my memory's shot, I don't know, but I just don't remember. I remember riding uh, on fairly busy road, highways, I'm going to call them highways or roads, um, with lots of traffic, including the big tractor trailers that would 
about blow you off the road, especially with a light bicycle, that I would have like a 10 speed, uh, you know, back then that didn't weigh hardly anything. And, you know, you never thought much about it. You just did it. You just rode. If you want to ride, that's how you got around. If you, you know, you were young and cycling was a lot of fun to me. It always has and always will be. And so I was a big bike rider, loved to ride. And as I do today. And, uh, but I don't remember having bike lanes. Maybe it's just where I was living. I was living in uh, Ontario, Canada, northeast of Toronto. And, uh, you know, uh, we didn't have uh, bike lanes, but maybe you can chime in in the uh, comments if you uh, were in the same boat. Um, where you have bike lanes now, did you have bike lanes years ago before electric bikes became popular? I still am a believer of the, uh, to get more people out on bikes, I think, I think a big part of the problem is the bike lane situation and I like, uh, personally, uh, my favorite would be the designated bike lanes, and I know we can't have that everywhere, but I think that would get more people out on bikes. Designated bike lanes completely away on the other side of the, like the sidewalk here, but even further, a little further off than that. kind of a road of your own, I think that would make a big difference. And I think that would get more people out on the road with the bikes. I know just recently somebody mentioned to me, did you hear about, this is somebody that happened in our area here somewhere. Somebody got hit, I believe they were killed, but uh, they were riding an electric bike and got hit by a car or truck was in an accident and uh, but then when you think about it I mean accidents happen I don't know the situation of what happened there I didn't I only heard it like I say from somebody I didn't hear the story as to what exactly happened I just heard that they were hit by the car but uh I mean, accidents are going to happen no matter what. You can be as careful, you know, whether it's bike riding or something else, you can just be walking down the sidewalk and something can happen. So, um, I don't hear, like at least around here, I haven't heard a whole lot of accidents with bikes. Same thing with the, with the uh, battery fires, you know, I just don't, I haven't even heard, to be honest with you, I haven't even heard of one not around here i know i i know in new york not to pick on new york but i've heard a lot coming out of new york but uh, we're not as big as new york here but still i haven't heard even one here so but uh I don't know, i'm just trying to think of ways that would make it more bike friendly and allow folks that are a little nervous to go out there now allow them to ride without being nervous I think we need I think we need to have um, how about those bike sweepers? <laughs> I'm just trying, trying to come up with something. Bike sweepers for the road, that would be good too.
so when you're riding and you're on a road or you're coming up to a road where the bike lane ends or there's just no bike lane on a particular road, do you uh, just not go on that road because there's no bike lane or does that matter to you? Do you ride it anyway? Let me know in the comments on that uh, as to whether that makes any difference to you. I know some will say, and I sometimes uh, agree with this too, if the speed, depending on how fast uh, the, the speed limit is on the particular road, but I think I'd almost just as soon ride right in with the traffic. Uh, I would say up to a, a maximum speed at the most of 35. I wouldn't want to uh, go beyond that uh, on an electric bike unless... Unless you're riding something that's... You may as well say motorcycle. I think the electric bike, I think 35 is a good fair speed. Uh, to be able to ride with traffic. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I just thought I would talk a little bit about bike lanes because that always becomes a big topic. And uh, to me, the big thing about the bike lane, like I say, is the debris. That's the, that's the one thing I absolutely despise in the bike lane. And having uh, folks pull out on you from, whether it's from a driveway or whatever they can't see you and we're so close to you know the sidewalk or the driveway so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button and also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and until the next video see ya